Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger, and an author. And this is the Life Path 4 energy reading. This is the reading for Life Path 4 for April of 2024. Here we are. And so I've confirmed with Sprit that I've pulled the correct cards. And so we're going to begin. Oh, so before I do that, I want to say that these energy these readings are not predictive forecasts. These are trying to support you and guide you in the best way I can about the energies you may have in your month according to your life path number and what you can do to best support yourself to work through these energies. So I don't do predictions. I don't believe predictions are helpful, but it's about encouraging you to know in a proactive way what energies you're going to be working with in that month so you can be in alignment with them and if there are energies that are a little bit more tumultuous we will offer guidance on how to best support you to work with those energies so they just don't run you over and you just look like what the hell is what the hell is going on we don't want that for you okay so we're going to begin so the first card is the four of wands in the reverse position we're going to say the knight of cups so we're going to flip that one over okay and so what I'm starting to do is that the first card will be your anchoring energy, the anchoring energy of the month. So we'll call that the energy that you're kind of going to be, maybe your foundational energy of the month, the, the energy that you're going to be sitting sitting in for the month. And this is going to be like the other en energies that are going to be around it and how you can best support yourself. And so the second energy is the Knight of Cups. So that energy may be blocked within you, not as you may not have as much access to it. The next energy is the five of cups. Okay. The next energy is the king of wands. Okay. And the next energy ooh, is my girl, the empress. I always love when she showed up. Okay. So we're going to begin. So you're entering, so life path four and you're a four and we got the four of wands. Okay. So life path four, the energy you're entering the month in or that's going to anchor you in the month should be the energy that grounds you during the month of April of 2024 is the four of wands. The four of wands is about, usually they call this the card of celebration. And it's the energy of celebrating the things that are most inspirational to you. The most things that are most, that you're most passionate about things that inspire you create creativity, creatively to do whatever it is that you love to do. So you, the energy that you want to anchor yourself in or that may already be around you is the four of wands, an energy of celebration about the things you love that inspire you, that you're passionate about, that connect you with your joy and your creativity. In the obstacle position, which I read as a reversal, energy that may be blocked within you is the Knight of Cups. And so the Knight of Cups is... All cups have to do with emotion. So it's the Knight of Cups is coming forward as, oh, wait, here's a new emotional offer, a new way to connect or a more mature way to connect. But it's coming up in the reverse position. So it's like that energy is within you is blocked. So and then the next card is the five of cups. So five of cups. So these two are together. Like, is there something within you? that is blocking you from connecting with yourself in a deeper, more emotional way. And what the blockage actually may be is this five of cups energy. The five of cups has to do with regret. It has to do with loss. It has to do with just really going over things that have pained you in the past and not being able to emotionally let them go. So the reason that you're probably feeling blocked here in the Knight of Cups energy is because you're still stuck in a pattern of regrets and loss. You're still stuck in a pattern of regret and loss. But it's really important that you work with these energies um, for the next two to three months I'm receiving so that you can kind of transmute them and work through them. Because the other energy on the other side of the five of cups is the king of wands. He is a person, a being that 
is a master of business, inspiration, creativity, fire, energy, accurate activation. He is he has mastered the energies of energetic activation. Call on that energy so that you can master the things that you're going to try to work through in your life. Know that these energies are around you and you have access to them. Because what he can do is that he is a king with maturity and wisdom and he is also connected with his spirituality. Because wands are fire and fire is spirit. The initiating force. The one force. The one source. And so if you have an opportunity to connect with those energies, connect with that power and, you know, call in the energy and know that you have the power within you to be a master of these energies, it can help you to work through what you're going through, work through the parts of yourself that are blocked emotionally, parts of yourself that you cannot connect with emotionally because you're still filled with grief and loss and regret. And you're playing over the sadness of the past and the emotional, the emotional difficulty of the past. Know that that fire energy, that activation energy of the wands is there to support you. And that's why this is the anchoring energy because you're four and fours are very, by the book, I like things to be in a certain order. Some people think they're rigid. It has to be happening in a certain way for me to be able to accept it, perceive it, and take it in. But what the cards are saying is that you have to connect with some other energies as well to let yourself, to ground yourself. And you have to connect with the energies of your fire, your passion, your inspiration. You also have to work with your emotions, connect with them, begin to connect with them in a new, more developed way. And it also re begin to release the feelings of loss grief and regret around any situation in your life because it's it, it blocks you, it stymies you, and it holds you back. And the King of Wands energy is there to say, I can help you master how to do that. I can help you understand it with wisdom and more and, and a mature awareness that can make this whole situation better. And then we have our girl, the Empress. The Empress, the Empress, the Empress. And what she does, she expands things. She makes things grow. She makes things fertile. Fertile. She makes things lush. She makes things beautiful. And so that's another energy. Let you know, in like where things have been barren for you emotionally, you have the energy of the Empress here to say, "I can help you grow this." So there's something fertile there now. There's something nourishing there now there's something rich there now so connect with these energies of this master here in the king and this master here in the empress two very very powerful energies that are coming forward for you life path four to help you in your navigation of whatever you're going through because um, what i'm getting from this spread is the energy of power, the energy of growth. But there cannot be true growth unless there's healing. And that you have the energy, energetic support around you to help you in your healing process. Yeah, I'm receiving that these are both big energies and you need to connect with them. So King of Wands and the Empress are both big energies and so you want to connect you want to connect with them. Or if there's someone in your life who could guide you, doesn't have to be a male, gender doesn't matter, but someone in your life who has that type of mature energy that could be supportive to you as you go through that transition. So the King of Wands energy can be an energy that you have access to yourself. It may not be, you may be in the process of developing it, yeah, that's what I'm receiving. You're in the you. This is an energy you have access to that you need to call in. It could be in a spiritual sense, and it could also be in a physical sense. If there is a mature being that has that energy of maturity and wisdom when it comes to spirituality, 
energetic activations, things of that nature. The, but, and also your last card is the Empress. You have that energy within you of fertility, abundance, growth, and you can use it to, you know, the things that were previously barren, you can make them lush. You can make them beautiful in any area of your life. But especially since you have two cup cards, especially as it pertains to your emotions, especially as it, as it pertains to connecting with your emotions, healing your emotions, and letting things go. So, let's see if there's anything else. Two more cards. It's important at this time to ground yourself in your energies and your in, in your energy and your inspiration. Ground yourself in the things that inspire you. Let them support you and let them surround you and shape you. But don't be so rigid that you don't allow other things in that are supportive. Be careful in your energy for this month so you don't let the fire consume you. And by fire, they mean your passions. Know that, know that you're supported at all times and you have you have the power to call in the energy of balance into your life. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is reverse. What would you like to say? I'm getting that there's a vein of emotions that could be opened in your life. They've kind of decreased to a trickle. They've kind of decreased to a trickle and your emotions are not flowing smoothly, as smoothly within yourself as they could be. And this is because of the regret and loss you've been holding on to. When I say holding on to, that's not a judgment. It's just the way our what you know what happens in life when we have have received hurts. Our psychological system, our construct, our personality structure will hold on to the hurt, protect us from further hurt. But what it does, it becomes an energy blockage, and that energy needs to be released and not held on to. And so spirit is just showing me that, you know, where once there was a river and there was an open pathway, it has shrunk and it's now it's just a trickle. And you feel that in your heart. You feel that in your emotions. And it's been having an effect on you. And so what has replaced the stream that used to flow emotionally is this, is this, and what has replaced the stream that used to flow that is now a trickle emotionally now the landscape is filled with this these feelings of grief, regret, and loss. Whatever this grief is about, spirit is saying it's time for it to be discharged and let go. Whatever happened in the past is in the past. We can't change the past. So it's best to take the lessons from it and allow it to inform us so that we can move forward with more wisdom and more passion and more inspiration, which is why the next card is the King of Wands. He's here to show you how to move forward from the grief and the loss and the heartbreak with maturity, with insight, with passion, with wisdom, so that you can guide yourself to a better path forward. And so that you're filled with fire again, you're filled with the fire that kind of makes you feel good about life and living. And the Empress is here to help all things grow, help things to be abundant and bountiful for you so that you can begin to feel nourished and whole again inside of yourself in a way that you hadn't previously, you haven't, you hadn't before or you haven't in a long while. The Empress is here with her nourishment and her bounty to say, I can fertilize anything that you feel is barren and if there's even a, I can make anything grow because that's how powerful she is. And the Empress is also calling on you, regardless of your gender, to call in the divine feminine, call in that power to have it come down into you and heal and nourish you from within, from the your higher chakras into your energy body, into your physical body and feel that nourishment.
I hope that made sense to you, Life Path 4. Let's see. Let me see what the angels now. The other readings I did, the angels, they want to be bringing up all the cards. So I asked for one, they give me two. So we'll see what they're doing tonight. A card, Life Path 4 for April of 2024. A card for Life Path. Okay, this card fell out. Spiritual growth. Let's see what this beauty has to say to us. Spiritual growth. You're definitely in a growth period. Let me look at the cards again. Definitely, yeah, you're definitely in a growth period. So even if it's been rocky, it's going to be okay. This is a powerful time for you. Your growth and understanding are unfolding at an incredible rate and you feel more connected than ever to your soul, gifts, and purpose. Your angels are encouraging you to keep up the good work and continue expanding your knowledge, experience, and spiritual connection. When this card arrives for you, it's a confirmation that the experiences and insights you have had recently have been divinely led. You may find yourself connecting to particular energies at this time and even experiencing angels or guides visiting you. This card is letting you know that these experiences are real and are, and are occurring because of your determination to open up spiritually. I'll just say, this is wonderful, but why are you determined to open up spiritually? You have to make sure you heal emotionally as well. That is actually how you get the best connection to spirit by being healed emotionally and mentally. The, the path of light is unfolding for you and you are being encouraged and you are being encouraged to hold your head high and focus on spiritual growth. The rest will be taken care of for you. The extended message. Every experience is a learning experience. You are a student of life and spirit and what has happened in your life hasn't happened to you. It's happened for you. I know that's hard to believe, but in the, mic in the macro, it is true. You have incredible resilience and capacity to overcome whatever darkness or unknown you face. No matter what has been served to you, you have done everything within your might and power to face it and find a way forward. Angels are acknowledging your determination and the positive, kind-hearted, and upbeat energy that has allowed you to become the powerful, wonderful person you are today. You may feel that your spiritual gifts are opening much more at this time. Be aware of any visions, psychic insights, or connections you develop as they will be pivotal to your growth. So I think that's a wonderful message to wrap this up on. Life Path 4, I hope this spoke to you. Please let me know in the comments below how this resonated with you, how this connected with you, about the energies you feel circulating in your life, and how you feel like you're developing in your trajectory. If you would like a personal, more in-depth reading with me, that information will be in the description box below. My name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, intuitive messenger, and author. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts below. I love doing readings for people. I love doing these monthly readings for all the Life Path members, and they're something that gives me a great deal of joy and um, a great deal of joy in my everyday life. So I really do love it and enjoy it. So you take care, peace and blessings.